Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to retrofit Festool's freehand routing guard system onto a Craig router table setup. I love the Craig router table setup. Um, I have built my own stand here and had built my own table, um, but with um, a lot of the new options out there and being able to adjust um, routers from the top, um, I installed this. I'm using the Triton router, which is fantastic, set up for underneath the table. And I'm using Festool's um, Y adapter for the hose, and you can see that it captures um, dust from underneath um, the way the Triton's set up. It's, it's great for that. And then I'm using an Oneida Systems uh, mini setup here, which is hooked just to an ordinary vacuum on the back here. Nothing so special about that. And then here's the hose that connects to my fence. But today I'm gonna to show you that uh, Festool, which is a very expensive setup, and I love Festool tools, I use them. Uh, this is the guard from Festool that is on their $1,600 table. And I wanted to be able to use that because it utilizes this, this great arm here. So basically the installation is simple. You can buy all these parts that are here from a Festool dealer or online. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these holes, there's four holes here, as a guide for installing inserts in your table. And these are the inserts. You can get them basically um, on Amazon. Those are six millimeter inserts. And I would get these coarse ones for this material that's in the table. And then for here, you're gonna want a six millimeter tap and um, the proper drill bit. And that you can get, you know, from Home Depot or Lowe's. There's a kit that just comes with both the tap and the drill for about $6. And these are really inexpensive. I think you can get uh, 10 of these for $3 on Amazon as well. And I think all of these parts here were under $50 that I bought. Uh, so let's go ahead and put it in. Okay, so essentially, use these six millimeter toggles here. They just snug these, they don't need to be real tight. Just snug down to the table. Okay, and then this bearing you want to adjust so it's about tangent with that bearing. So if you look down from the top, you can see it's about tangent and touching. And that's adjusted back here with this little knob so I can get a better picture. That little knob adjusts this up and down, and then there's a slot right here, and you can adjust this this way if you want to, just to get it up on that bearing. And then the guard just slips down here, and you can just snug that up with these two here. And again, very light touch is all that's required. And put your dust collection hose back here. And there you go. So basically what's happening is if you have a piece of wood, and I probably don't have this good enough. Let's raise this up a little bit. And you're able to take the piece of wood here now and guide it into the, into the, pi, into the bearing. Instead of getting that thing caught back in there and maybe throwing it, this thing is beautiful in that it just guides you right into it. So freehand routing gets a whole lot safer and a whole lot simpler. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a great modification. You don't have to spend $1,600. You're going to spend about $55.
What a great upgrade. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up.